Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we are having one very interesting and challenging exponential equation problem, which we will solve in collaboration with Dr. P. K. Math. So if you haven't subscribed our channels, please do subscribe right now. Thank you. Equation is 3 raised to the power 3x plus 3 equal to 3 raised to the power x plus 1 plus 3 raised to the power x plus half. We have to find out only real solutions. So let's get started by writing two most powerful exponent laws. It is a power b plus c. Anytime we can write a power b times a power c. Second property which I will use a power b whole power c can be written as a power b times c. Let's apply both the properties to our equation. I can write 3 power 3x as 3 power x whole cube using this property plus 3 equal to 3 power x times 3 using first property plus 3 power x times 3 power half it is root 3. Now 3 power x is visible so better is to substitute it. So let 3 power x equal to a. As a is exponential function so it cannot be negative. It must be greater than 0. So I will write here a cube plus 3 equal to 3a plus root 3a. Now I can consider 3 substitution. So it is let root 3 equal to k. So let us write. Conclusion is 3 we will be writing k square. So our equation will transform into a cube plus k square equal to 3. So I will write k square a plus root 3. So k a. Now I will frame one quadratic equation in k. It is quadratic in k. Let me write. So I will be writing equation first. So equation will become a cube minus k square a. Then we are having minus k a. Then we are having plus k square. And right hand side is 0. So I can write our equation quadratic in k. So I need to consider k square. In bracket it would be 1 minus a. Then I will be writing a k or k a plus a cube equal to 0. Now this is quadratic in k. So I will consider this is capital A minus A. I will consider capital B and A cube I will consider as a constant C. So let us calculate K first. K was our substitution if you remember it was root 3. So I can write here k equal to root 3 equal to. Let's apply formula. So minus b. So I will be writing a plus minus under the root b square. So I will be writing a square minus 4ac. So I will be writing a cube 1 minus a divided by 2a. So I will be writing 2 times 1 minus a. Now I can see inside the square root a square is common. So let us write. I will take a square common. So it will be a outside the square root. 1 minus 4a. 1 minus a. Divided by 2 times 1 minus a. Now I will expand a plus minus a square root. I will be writing here 4a square. Then I will be writing here minus 4a plus 1. And divided by 2 times 1 minus a. So I can write equal to a plus minus 
a and this is one perfect square it is perfect square of 2a minus 1 square now denominator is as it is 2 times 1 minus a now we can cancel a square and a square root so it will be left a plus minus a and 2a minus 1 over 2 times 1 minus a let me write here k equal to root 3 then i will be writing a plus minus a in bracket 2a minus 1 over 2 times 1 minus a now we have to consider plus and minus sign separately so i can write here a plus a 2a minus 1 over 2 times 1 minus a and second value with minus sign a minus a 2a minus 1 over 2 times 1 minus a so it will become 2a square in the numerator only plus a minus a will be over over 2 times 1 minus a second value is a minus 2a square plus a over 2 times 1 minus a so this 2 will be over it is a square over 1 minus a done second value is 2a minus 2a square so let us take 2a common so in bracket it would be 1 minus a divided by 2 times 1 minus a so these two brackets will be over 2 and 2 will be over so overall what we are getting from this let me write here k equal to root 3 equal to a square over 1 minus a and second value is a remember what was a a was our substitution 3 power x so i will consider two equations basically i will write root 3 equal to a from this combination and once i will consider these two then i will be writing a square over 1 minus a equal to root 3 let us solve both i will be solving first let me write here a square over 1 minus a equal to root 3 and first solution was a equal to root 3 a was 3 power x so i will write 3 power x is equal to 3 power half bases are same so exponent must be equal to each other so i will write x is equal to 1 by 2 is first real solution we will cross examine verify this at last now let's consider the second one second equation now i will cross multiply so i can write a square is equal to root 3 minus root 3 a take all the term to one side a square plus root 3 a minus root 3 equal to 0 now i will apply quadratic formula a equal to minus b so minus root 3 plus minus under the root b square so 3 minus 4ac so i will be writing plus 4 root 3 and divided by 2a so i will write by 2 now if i will write both the solutions separately then you will understand minus sign will be rejected let me write minus root 3 plus square root 3 plus 4 root 3 this is with plus sign and with minus sign i will be writing minus root 3 minus square root 3 plus 4 root 3 divided by 2 now a was exponential function 3 power x so it cannot be negative a is always positive as it is so you can see this solution we will reject as it is negative value rejected 
so this one we will accept so one solution is coming straight away x is equal to half and second solution will come from a equal to minus root 3 plus square root 3 plus 4 root 3 over 2 okay now i will consider this a separately so if you will check this square root value then this value is coming out 0 0.709 and a was 3 power x. Now this equation we have to find the value of x. Let's consider log. So let me write first equation 3 power x is equal to 0 0.709. Now I will write log both sides. So log 3 power x equal to log 0 0.709. Now I will write one logarithmic property. It is log a power b. Any time we can write b log a. So this x will be multiplier. So I will write x log 3 base is 10. Base is 10 everywhere. Right hand side I will be writing log of 0.709 and if you will check this value log of 0.709 then this will minus 0.1493 and left hand side log 3 we are knowing 0.4771 so x will become minus 0.1493 divided by 0 0.4771 and this will come out negative 0 0.313 this is our second real solution so our final solutions are x is equal to half 0 0.5 and negative 0 0.313 let's verify the first one x is equal to half so i will write here check and I will consider here x is equal to half. See what will come out. Now I will be writing 3 power 3 by 2 plus 3. This is our LHS. Now I can write 3 power 3 by 2 as 3 power 1 plus half plus 3, which will become 3 root 3 plus 3. So ultimately I am getting 3 times in bracket root 3 plus 1. This is our LHS. Now let us calculate RHS also. So I will be writing 3 power half plus 1 plus 3 power half plus half. So again I will be writing here 3 root 3 plus Half plus half is 1, 3 power 1, 3. 3 is common, root 3 plus 1. So you can see LHS equal to RHS. Hence x is equal to half is true and verified solution. And this brings the end of this video. If you haven't subscribed my channel, please do subscribe right now friends. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself. Bye bye.